Good morning, folks. Today we are on day two on Curacao. We are from Playa Piscado. Good morning. Good morning, Lucy. everybody. <laughs> <laughs> and we are here actually after a drive of about 45 minutes or so from where, where we are staying. And the idea is the kids are already in the water. They couldn't wait. But the idea is to go check out the turtles. Yes. We swam here a few months ago yeah, and much. we saw many turtles. So without further ado, we're going to start this one by checking out the turtles right here at the Westwood. Yes. Let's, Let's go. go. So we are ready with the snorkeling here at Playa Piscadona. What's a mixed feeling about the snorkeling today? Uh, I understand why they are feeding the turtles, but it's something that also kind of bothers me every time I come here, because I think the turtles, they look beautiful. The beach 
is quite okay. Actually, the water is quite clear for the most part, except where the pier is situated. <laughs> and Marlin is taking <laughs> a paparazzi shot of us here. Me and Bo are sitting here on the beach debriefing. But um, it, it's a beautiful day so far, by the way. And uh, yeah, I just hope that things could change. Uh, one of those things that uh, we did see was, um, so this guy lets the turtles come on top of you uh, in one way or another. And then something is given to the guy. I don't know if he's charging a fixed uh, amount or something, but the thing that happened is that this was a little girl and she started just kind of like kicking the turtle. and. I, I think that that's not something that we should be doing anywhere. Uh, that I find kind of unfortunate, but otherwise the snorkeling here is mostly also for the turtles. Um, not much else to see except a few fish here and there. Uh, it's a beach that uh, every time I do come to Curta, I love to visit anyway and uh, yeah. So right now we're heading to the next one, which we don't know yet. We haven't decided on which one to go, but I do believe it's one that's close by here, maybe like a 10 minute ride or so, still on the west side of the island. Let's go. After a very nice swimming experience at the beaches, uh, we are here with the family at the Emma Bridge or the Swinging Old Lady. We're gonna cross this bridge. No one can say they have been to Curacao without walking here. It's a pontoon bridge, which leads us from the Otra Banda area, which we are right now and where we are also staying, to the Punda area, which is most of the time considered the most important part of Willemstad, the capital. Yes, it's always nice to be crossing this bridge. Now, if you are not familiar, this is where the ships go in and out of the port. So if there are any ships coming in or going out, this bridge would actually swing to the side and make way for them to go under this other larger and higher bridge go on the inside of the port. One of those things that makes Curacao a very special island, a very unique island for the Caribbean. And uh, yeah, a lot of folks taking photos, etc. And just being a practical bridge to go from one side of the city to the 
to the other. In case the bridge is open, maybe you wonder about that. They do have those bridges, sorry, those boats that start going up and down so you can still cross.